My goal has been to try to find um, where uh, optics and photonics could help with the challenges in medicine because there are so many unmet needs still and even though we have a lot of conventional techniques still there is um, really um, motivation to try to uh, find complementary techniques both for diagnostics and for therapy and me being an oncologist, of course, I am particularly interested in, uh, in cancer detection. And we know that the earlier we, um, we discover a tumor, the better is the prognosis for the patient. And with the conventional techniques, we can certainly discover small tumors, but not the very shallow small ones, which are very, very treatable. And, uh, that's one thing that I have been extremely interested in together with uh, researchers and scientists I have worked with. And I would also like to mention that this kind of work is truly an interdisciplinary effort because the techniques that we used were absolutely not developed by myself. They were developed by, by the colleagues in physics, technology, and there, of course, my husband has been a real good collaborator. So Professor Sune Svanberg is behind many of these techniques that we have been using and, and that has been of course for me very interesting to work with a person who I know quite well since many many years of marriage. My name is uh, Katharina Svanberg. I am a medical doctor but also a professor of oncology. Uh, my home university is Lund University in Sweden, southern Sweden, and that's one of the largest universities in northern Europe, actually. We have 40,000 students, all faculties there. But I also have a second uh, working space, and that's in China, also there in the south, south part of the country, South China Normal University, where... Uh, I, together with my husband, is building up a new center in optics and photonics. Quite interesting and challenging after uh, all these years home to start sort of all over again and, and do the same thing. I, I would say that we in Lund had been quite successful in building up this uh, mutual interaction. So we, from the medical side and from the technical side, feel that we really work together for, for the better, in this case, of the patients. And, and uh, that has been the driving force. And we have usually started by looking where could we do something and what are the challenges. So that means that we have sort of a medical pull rather than a technical push, where there are very many good techniques, but we may not know or understand how to utilize them. So the, the better way could be that, that we really have something to solve and try to solve that together. And, and uh, that, that means that we can be more from both sides interested in, in the development. For me now, being the, the 41st recipient of the gold medal is, is uh, Fantastic, I would say. So I, I really, but uh, it would never have come through if I didn't work together with the scientists that, that has been in the group. I am, of course, so proud and honored. And when I first heard the news, uh, it was told by um, SPIE uh, CEO, Dr. Eugene Orters, when we met at an event in Germany, another award ceremony there and then then he mentioned something about the gold medal and oh I said oh but I did absolutely not understand that he was referring to me and then when we had the conversation slowly I, I got this into my mind and I was so yeah I, I don't know what I should say because I have been I have been hanging this gold medal on other very, very important people being sort of serving other people in this process. And now I was the one who, who should receive this. So um, 
I was so, so happy, of course, and, and uh, surprised. There was a couple before where the man and the, the wife, I think, won it. But, but now I am the first woman, and I don't know what I should say. Uh, first of all, you could say that how can be that, that it's the first woman? And, uh, of course, I feel proud that I am, but you, can also under, you cannot understand why. It should not have been any woman before or any female scientist before. But I hope really that, that uh, now uh, it will come more, more females. And of course, it should not be females because we are women. It should be because we have done something or, or we, we uh, should be compared equally, of course, with, with men. But, but uh, it's a little bit strange <laughs> that there has only been men before because there are so many clever ladies around.